Hi, my name is Corey Smith and I work at Evaluate. One of my responsibilities at Evaluate is to administer the annual ATE survey. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to use multiple sources and levels of data for benchmarking purposes. The Regional Center for Nuclear Education and Training has kindly allowed us to use their data as an example today. From the data that we collect each year on the annual survey, we produce data snapshots. The graph you see on the screen was pulled from the Women in ATE 2012 data snapshot. The focus of RCNET is energy production. From this data, we can see that 21% of ATE students in energy production are female. Now I'm going to show you how to use the data from this snapshot for benchmarking purposes. Because RCNET tracks the demographics of students in their program, they know that 26% are female. When we remove RCNET students from the whole program-wide total, we see that 15% of non-RCNET students in energy production are female. It can be taken one step further to compare these numbers with data from the U.S. Department of Labor, which reports that only 1.8% of all power plant workers are female, highlighting a vast underrepresentation of women in the energy production field and providing another place to compare the outcomes of this project with a national benchmark. You could do this with any of the demographic data that is asked for on the survey, and we would be happy to help you in any way we can. For more information on data and data resources, as well as how you may get in touch with us, visit our website, shown here on the screen. You can also contact us through any of the various social media avenues. The voice on this video is Corey Smith, that's me. It was produced and directed by Emma Perk, and the material was developed by Lori Wingate. Happy evaluating!